Hello out there. This is DZ, your overlord, Deseran, and welcome back to Seven Days a Skeptic. <laughs> Okay, so we're back in. We've gone back to our office. Desk. Do we have work to do? I suppose I should take another look through the personnel files in case this is a first contact scenario. Attention, Dr. Somerset. Dr. Somerset, please report to the cargo bay immediately. Then again, possibly not. down here, right? Dang reactor. Ah, the good doctor has graced us with his presence. Let's get this show on the road. What is it? It's a bo it's a box, a metal box. Now come on, let's do this by the book, Angela. Thank you, Captain. Examination of unidentified object, 27th of July, 2385. Object is rectangular, approximately 2 by 5 by 0 0.0 by 0 0.4 by 0 0.4 yards. Initial scans indicate being constructed from a combination of lead and base metals. Initial scans also show no radioactivity, biological waste, or other hazardous materials. Good. Are the automatic hazard neutralizers ready? Yep. Then I am now opening the object. Wait! There's a plaque on this side of the box. Really? What's it say? Here lies John Defoe, finally at rest. Do not disturb his sleep. 11 9, 1997 Do not disturb his sleep. Then there's a date and a little drawing of a hat. A what? I think it might be some kind of signature. Who the hell signs their name with a hat? What do you think, Angela? The words seem to indicate human remains. Ethically, disturbing human remains is frowned upon. We should take it to a better equipped space station and leave it for researchers there. Hmm. Yes, I agree. This isn't something we should be concerning ourselves with. I'll patch a message through to high command and explain the situation. Ah. Uh. So much for first contact, eh, John? I'm just a little confused as to how human remains ended up floating around the Caracas galaxy. A lot of people were buried in space around the beginning of the 21st century. What? I think it was sort of trendy for a while. Even so, to have gotten as far as this galaxy after just a few centuries. <clears throat> Look, don't worry about it, alright? Now, I don't know about you, but I'm turning in for the night. Hmm. What was the name on John Defoe? Monday. Also, I would assume anyone who signed with a hat is Trill B. Uh... Uh, um, that seems like a problem. What? Oh. What? God, what a nightmare. Can't seem to do anything right. Oh, whoops, there it is. <laughs> it won't reply. No, talk to yourself for a second. Oh, you're not an option. Uh, wrench set? Look. 
It's a set of miniature wrenches I gave to Adam for his birthday. Take. Okay. Well, I don't know why we need a wrench set, but... Alright. Plants. Look. Plastic, of course. No real plants survive long in this stale atmosphere. Huh. I'm almost concerned to go down there. Alright, let's let's do this. The elevator doesn't appear to be working. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Hang on, I'm saving immediately. Save. Uh huh. Nobody home. Nobody home. Uh, the elevator's not working though. What? Oh. That's Lieutenant Adam Gilkenny, my bunkmate and the ship's engineer. Talk. Adam. John. Why aren't the engines running? It's probably a temporary power outage. Probably. You mean you don't know for sure? I just woke up and it was like this. I'm just waiting for the emergency systems to kick in. Uh, the elevator isn't working. Yeah, I know. But I can't work on it if the doors won't open. The maintenance panel is on the, panel is on the inside. Uh, what about the elevator shaft? Hey, you wouldn't be trying to tell me how to do my job, would you? No, I... If there were a problem in the shaft, I'd know. We have alarm systems, fail-safes, that sort of thing. Could you check all the same? You know your problem, John. You're too uptight. This is nothing but a little temporary power outage. It'll all be working again in ten minutes. Uh... Where's everyone else? How should I know? They could be still in bed on other decks. It's not like they have to explain all their movements to me. Sorry. Uh, how are you feeling? You know me, John. Spring chicken, glass is half full, happy little bunny, and all that. Adam, just stop fussing, alright? You're not my mom. I'm worried, Adam. Just relax, okay? We just need to wait for the power to come back on. Why don't you sit down and have a little breakfast? <sighs> I'll see you later. Sure. I don't think I can have breakfast. Is this thing working? It's a food dispenser. Spencer's currently set for breakfast. What should I have? Full English Continental Cancel. Uh. Oh. F E. Why is that standing out to me? F E C C. I don't know. Uh, full English? So only lets you have one meal at a time. Uh, full English breakfast consists of egg, sausage, beans, and fried bread. I guess we'll eat. Oh, reading over there. That was pretty disgusting. Of the Continental. What should I have? Continental. The continental breakfast consists of cereal, orange juice, toast, and butter. <laughs> I 
Ok I hate the butter they serve with these things So I won't eat it Oh I'll Look at the hatch It's an entrance to the maintenance tunnel on this deck I don't know where the ones on the other decks are Can we open it? It's screwed shut to prevent people like me From ru ruining the ship Wrenches? Oh, we can. Look. It's the cover from the maintenance vent. Talk. Adam. John. See you later. Sure. Look. It's the entrance to the maintenance shaft. In we go. What are you doing? I'm going into the maintenance shaft to see what's wrong with the elevator. Well, if it makes you feel any better. Oh. What the hell? What is that? Oh. Look. Standing on top of the elevator, waiting for it to suddenly start up again and crush me to death with perfect comic timing. Uh, object? Look. It's too dark to make out what it is, but it seems to be lodged in the elevator mechanism. Why do I? I don't think so. Why do I need butter? Can I butter it up? Okay, I've smeared butter around the components and the object. Oh! Really? Is it... Is it metal? Am I gonna get shocked? Uh, I'm gonna save before I do this. What the hell? Uh, let me just... DZ... Two... No. Two. Just in case. Some kind of old-fashioned bladed weapon. Are these bloodstains? Staying on top of the app. Okay. There's no way into it from up here. A lot of things in this ship are designed on the basis that they can't possibly go wrong. Go in. Okay. So, okay, what was that? What did we get? Machete? It's a huge machete covered in red stains. Excuse me? Cancel. Um, I'm gonna talk to Adam. Adam. John. How are you feeling? You know me, John. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh... Do I... Can I show it to him? Found this lodged in the elevator mechanism. Whoa, that's a big knife. It's called a machete. There's blood all over it. Now, now don't go leaping to conclusions. There are any number of things that could be other than blood. I'm going to go look for the others. Coming? Er... N no. I'll wait here. Fine. Okay. We got the elevator working at least. What the hell? Uh, where are we going? 
I guess head down here first. Nothing. What keeps ship tipping over? Okay. Uh oh. Look. Someone must have opened it during the night. Door? That leads to the operations booth for the external grappling claws. I'm not allowed in there. Airlock. Cancel. Okay, so that's an air. Whoa, whoops. Cargo bay doors. Uh, cargo bay doors open to allow incoming shuttles and anything that might have been picked up by the external grappling claws. Panel. It's the panel that controls the cargo bay doors. Okay then. Um, I am very concerned. Uh, let's go to the communal deck. Panel. Look. One of main maintenance spells the only engineer understands. No one. William. Okay. Talk. William. John. Uh, there's some kind of problem with the ship. <clears throat> what kind of problem? Some sort of power outage. All the en And the engines are down. How odd. I did wonder why no one had got in touch. How did you get here when the lifts were down? The lifts were down? I'm afraid I've been here since last night. What? I suppose I just lost track of time. Don't worry, I'll go get some sleep soon. I should hope so. Uh, did you open the box? What box? The one in the cargo bay. The one we brought in. Oh, it's a box, is it? Nobody got round to telling me. And I suppose I was too polite to ask. What was in it? Nothing. Oh. Something of an anticlimax. Uh, how are you feeling? Fine. A bit tired, maybe. Why, is there a reason I should be disturbed? Never mind. I'll talk to you later. Sure. Um, what the hell is going on? Excuse me? Came? What's happening? Uh, observation. No one. No one up here. Ops? Anyone in the conference room? No. the hell? Dr. Somerset, it's, is the lift operational again? After some persuasion. What's going on? The captain appears to have gone missing. What? Nobody's seen him since yesterday evening. We were attempting to scan the ship interior when the power went down. The escape pods are all still here, so he must be on board somewhere. Weird thing is, I can't isolate the cause of the power outage. I tried to send a communication to High Command, but for some reason it won't send. Since you're here, could you start searching the ship? See if you can find Adam so he can get the engines back on. He's sulking in the canteen. He's acting odd, like he doesn't care about what's going on. 
Confidentially, I think he's afraid of something. Well, that's your territory, not mine. Keep in touch. Sure. Um. Hmm. Okay. Talk to Serena. Ladies. Yes, Dr. Somerset? Uh, who saw the captain last? I did. Yesterday evening, when we bade each other good night, the last I saw of him, he was heading into the elevator. Where did he go from there? His quarters, probably. Um, has anyone tried to get into the captain's quarters? Only his keycard can open it. And security can only be overridden from his console. Where is that? Inside his quarters. Something of a design flaw. We're making a list of complaints to send to high command at the first opportunity. Uh, do you think we should be worried? Early days yet. The captain would simply be over could simply be oversleeping after all. And the power outage? That this is an old ship. You have to expect things to go wrong now and then. Hmm. Uh, what's wrong with communicators? <clears throat> At this stage, it could be anything. It may simply be because of the power outage. But the communication system is covered by the emergency generators. And the lights are still working. You'd probably have to ask Adam about it. How are you holding up? I'm quite well speaking for myself. Serena? I'm not sure, Doctor. I mean, I know there's probably nothing to worry about. But I still have this irrational concern. About what? Just that this is the start of some big trouble. It's silly, I know. I don't think so. someone opened the box. What box? The box in the cargo hold? Oh, yes, Commander Garrett said something about a box. What was in it, Doctor? That's the weirdest thing. There was nothing in it at all. How strange. Well, good thing we didn't waste a proper research station's time with it, then. Hmm. Uh, is anything working yet? I'm afraid not. The engines and communicators are still down. I found something in the elevator shaft. A big knife covered in red stains. Well, that could have gotten in there at any time. Have you been handling it? Well, yes. Then you've probably covered up any fingerprints that were on it. Oh. Hang on to it for now, and we'll see if it becomes relevant later. <clears throat> Fair enough. See you later. Very well, Doctor. Okay, let me try... Well, this is the only other door. They won't open by hand. Requires a pass card, which I don't have. Okay... Uh, try the panel. No reply. Try the door. Has to be opened via the panel, by the door, or from within. Okay, there's two things I can try. Uh, one is to go down a level to here. Uh, one of the main maintenance panels. Okay. Eh. Screwed on pretty tight. Okay. Screwdriver set. Boop. I don't think so. What? The wrenches won't work? Machete? I don't think so. Uh, look at the vent. It's just an air conditioning vent. It's 
built into the floor can't be moved. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, fine. Well, then I guess we go down to Adam. Nobody home. Well, okay, yeah, nobody is home because they're all somewhere else. Uh, talk. Adam. John. Uh, did you know that the box is open? What box? The box you brought aboard in the cargo bay. It must have fallen open when it thawed or something. Anything in it? No. Nothing at all. Very twilight zone. The communicators aren't working. Any idea what could cause that? Well, if it's not because of the power outage, then it'll be a foreign object lodged in the communication pylons on top of the ship. It's usually an asteroid or something. Can you repair it? Well, this is all speculation, of course. Why don't you go outside and take a look at it for me? I'll give you the airlock pass. Uh, why don't you come too? Well, if it turns out to be nothing, then we'll have wasted both our times. Not to mention the oxygen tanks and the EVA suits. EVA suits. Are you afraid of something, Adam? I beg your pardon? Never mind. Uh, I'll see you later. Sure. Airlock pass. Okay. This is getting weirder and weirder. Door has to be open. Whoops. Oh. No, but I'm an idiot. Use card. Hmm. All right, let's go, I guess. We can at least try and fix one thing. Maybe. door is that again? This leads into the operator's booth. Okay. I don't think so. Uh, okay, so we have a pass for the airlock. What's that? Switch. Controls the exterior door mechanism. Switch. Controls the interior door mechanism. That's the closet where the EVA suits are kept. Look at everything. It's an extra vehicular access suit for regulating pressure and oxygen in, in hard vacuum. I mean, I guess we'll put it on. Clip on the EVA suit is for attaching yourself to the ship's external safety rails. Oh god, this bothers me. I'm not sure how to implement that. This doesn't look too safe out here. I'd better observe all safety precautions. For your own safety, please ensure that your suit is firmly clipped to the safety rail before proceeding. Whoops. Safety rail. Clip. Okay, I'm safely clipped in. 
Oh, that's uh, that's blood. These steps lead to the top of the ship. I'll have to move over there first. What? Oh, I have to unclip? I've unclipped myself from the safety rail. Okay, I'm safely attached to the rail. Line. Bridge to Lieutenant Gilkenny. Come in, please. Actually, this is John, Serena. Dr. Somerset? You can't go on EVA. You're the counselor. Relax. I took standard EVA training with everyone else. Well, where's Lieutenant Gilkenny? Adam still doesn't want to move from the canteen. Something seems to have spooked him. This is most irregular. I'm just going to check out the radio masts and come back. Come right back, okay? Well, please be careful. Oh! Dr. Somerset, our scans show that you're on top of the ship now. Can you see what's clogging the radio masts? Yup. Dr. Somerset? Dr. Somerset, respond, please. Oh boy, I'm here. Tuesday? Tuesday. Well, holy shit. Okay. The captain is dead. Oh god. How? Someone stabbed him with this machete. He went outside to try to escape from his attacker. But the killer was very determined. This isn't happening. Who could have done this? It could have been anyone. Angela was the last person to see him. I walked with him to the elevator after we examined the locker. The last I saw of him, he was heading for his quarters. Oh, yeah? We've only got your word for that. Please, we mustn't stoop to baseless accusations. I know that none of us are capable of this sort of evil. None of us had reason to kill Barry. But there's no one else on this ship. I had to... It had to have been one of us. There's another thing. That l the locker is open. How is that relevant? You think the killer was hiding in there? Oh, please, doctor. I know this is going to sound stupid. But I have a horrible feeling that something was in that box. Something that got out. That does sound stupid. Your argument is unscientific. But for now, if only for morale, I suggest that we proceed on the assumption that we are all innocent. What? There could be a murderer among us right now, and we're supposed to ignore that? Until we can get back in touch with High Command and start a thorough investigation. Oh, I've heard enough. Where are you going? I'm going to my quarters. And I don't want to be disturbed. He knows something. I'm sure of it. Adam, please, save it. What are your orders, Commander? We have to get the communicators back online. Then someone will have to move, Barry, off the radio masts. And it sure as hell isn't going to be me. Lieutenant, it's okay. I'll do it. As you wish, Doctor. I'll get back to the bridge then. Mm -hmm. Dr. Somerset? Commander? Please be careful. I will. Thank you. Well, things just uh, kicked up a notch or two. I'm gonna save right here. Sorry, not now. What do you mean, sorry, not now? This conference table with built-in tabletop. Why can't I save? Commander? Dr. Somerset? Should I call you Captain now? Uh, 
There will have to be a proper hearing when we get back to high command. More likely another officer of high rank will be appointed. And I must say I find your remark in poor taste. Sorry. Uh, Barry's death was shocking, wasn't it? Indeed. But it is, a, it is the sign of a good crew to be able to function after such an event. Captain C Cahal would have wanted us to strive on, not be... something, something, something. Um, do you suspect anyone? Please, Doctor. As a psychologist, surely you can appreciate why I can't answer that question? I suppose so. I really do have a bad feeling about that locker. The locker is old news, Doctor. It was little more than miscellaneous space debris. Do not concern yourself with it. Even so, Barry dies on the same day we bring it on board. Or aboard. The engines also went down this, this the day we brought it aboard. Are you saying it could have caused that too? I have no idea anymore. Uh, any orders for me? Your orders are as always. You are responsible for the crew's mental well-being. Anything else you choose to do for the benefit of the ship is entirely up to you. Thanks, Commander. Until later, Doctor. Um, it's the machete I found lodged in the elevator shaft. Can I take it? I better not touch it. It's evidence. Okay, fine. Adam? Hey, John. Why won't you come out on EVA? I don't need to. You already did it once. You can do it again. It's a waste of effort for me to go. I think you're just making excuses. Why would I want to do that, John? Stop picking on me. There's no shame in being scared, Adam. I'm not scared. Who the hell's scared? I'm just concerned about resources, is all. Sure. Any thoughts on what happened to Barry? There's something shifty going on, I know that. Did you see how William ran off? I'm sure he knows something. That's enough, Adam. I don't like your attitude. This is a time of stress, and we all have to pull together. Cover cowering could get us all... Hey, back off. Who are you to judge me? I'm not afraid. All right. I'll see you later. Sure. Can I save now? Okay, now I can save. Um, well, I didn't get electrocuted, so I'm going to save over the first one. Save. Okay, good. We're set. Okay, that took a little longer than I thought. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more, and share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. If you want to suggest a game, leave it in the comments below, and check out links in the description for 7 Days of Skeptic if you do want to try it for yourself. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Also, check out links in the description for Vodka. They're a good friend of mine. They recommended the whole series to me. That's why I'm playing through it. Um, they started up on YouTube very recently. So go check them out. You won't regret it. They're, they're a very awesome person. And in the next part, well... I guess we'll get the captain down and then figure out where we go from there. What the hell? The Defoe is... The Defoe's are back, apparently. Oh. Either way, until the next part, this is DZ, your overlord, Desiran. You all have a great day, and I'll see ya. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha ha!